friends, it's Lady Cinnamon and I'm so happy that you're joining us today because the Daughters of Destiny is celebrating their anniversary for one year already. And the theme is thankful, grateful, blessed. Please allow me to take a minute of your time to introduce each of them and how special they are to me. Shawnee is the spiritual one. She's introspective. She's so sweet and has great decor tips with DIYs in her art and also her design. And she's so much full of enlightenment and just a wonderful sense of humor also and I gotta say her integrity is amazing we ask her to do something for us she never ever says no and she's amazing she also teaches everyone to just be kind to themselves and she facilitates all of our zoom meetings thank you thank you thank you love you girl next is Gigi she's the sweetest soul with the biggest heart she's so kind that it's humbling almost to me she's an encourager and uplifter and full of grace and quality and she just keeps everyone on task along with Shawnee and reminds us of upcoming events and helps facilitate everything with us and we appreciate you so much and Shawnee for all of your meetings and facilitations and keeping everyone where they need to be and that's GZ face on then there is Debbie Bubbles now Debbie Bubbles is spiritual also but she has this whimsical soul that's so positive and it keeps everybody motivated with her beautiful effervescence and her light-hearted approach to life and she takes her time to check on all of us all the time sending us one of wonderful inspiration and anecdotes and we love you for that and for helping out with our well-being and then there's me lady cinnamon just me if anything I'm probably the wild card of the group who keeps everybody laughing but somebody has to do it <laughs> So our creed is the Daughters of Destiny and we are the Daughters of Destiny, a like-minded group of creators who are here to encourage, uplift, bring positive inspiration and inclusivity by supporting each other destinies while endeavoring to fulfill our own. When I wrote this, I meant it and I still do today and we all live by that. We laugh cry and pray together and I love you guys from the bottom of my heart thank you thank you for honoring me with your friendship so guys as you can see I am going to be switching out my artwork I actually did these two DIY artworks I can leave the uh, video in the description bar below if you're interested in how I created them and I'm going to be going with an avant-garde theme, which is why you see that very dark velvet blue jewel toned runner. I'm going to be adding to that this DIY peacock um, centerpiece. You can use this as a placemat also. And yes, I made that. I can leave that video in the description bar with this video also. Now, this is a sour uh, reef um, that I made with sour feathers, and it's so beautiful. I used this for the fall a few years ago. I got this inspiration from Pure One. As you can see, I made it with Dollar Tree items and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to be using this for my avant-garde theme. Now, yes, guys, this is also <laughs> some DIYs. I make a lot of items. They're placemats and basically I'm shopping my home. I've had all these items for years. As you can see, uh, when I make my DIYs, I try to make them very neat on the most part. <laughs> but yeah, um, I love these. They're going to be perfect to go with my peacock theme. I've used this theme a long time ago. So like I said, I just shot my home. Didn't spend anything except for some pumpkins that you'll see later. So I'm just basically starting out with my centerpiece. And now we'll get into my tablescape and my whole theme. Now the avant-garde theme I'm using is because I love unusual and experimental ideas that present differently. And that sets sort of a precedent for what I'm what I'm in in my life and my artistry and I'm a little eccentric and I know people that subscribe to me that follow me pretty much already know that <laughs> so you'll get this if you're new then just try your best to work with me and I appreciate you being here <laughs> so I'm gonna go and first break down my place setting I usually start with the centerpiece but I really want to start with the place setting because I really went through the process of layering this out and I had so much fun with it so for my first piece I'm going to be going over this beautiful charger I've had it for years it's so beautiful I actually scored this from Amazon, believe it or not. And as you can look at the details, it's not one of those everyday 
scalloped edge um, type of charger plates but you can see how intricate it is how high-end it is these cost a grip but they're so well made and so heavy and I absolutely love it it's beautiful and yeah I love them and basically on top of that I went in with some um, glitter type glam looking plates I wanted this to really be over the top avant-garde and um, just very um, whimsical and yeah I just love the way it looks I got both of these the salad plates and the dinner plate from home goods and that bread plate that I put on top is a DIY now my theme for thankful grateful blessed this year I'm going to be using the word blessed yet last year I basically was going off of grateful and I had to use blessed because guys I am so happy and so blessed and um, yeah I just layered it all together and um, just really happy with my life and where I'm at and just it, in spite of everything that's going on I'm just so feeling so blessed so for who I invited you can see I have my place cards with Gigi Shawnee and Debbie and we are going to get together and have a girls kiki <laughs> and just really happy to have you guys over for dinner and for my um flatware as you can see I pulled out my tapered gold flatware that's a running joke <laughs> and for my place cards I also put this cute little napkin holder of a pumpkin on it it looks like it's one piece but it's actually a napkin holder on top of the place card holder and it just works well together now my candles are a DIY I've had these for years and my candlesticks are my mom I love to add in heirloom items every time I do a tablescape you can't always but I do try especially when I'm doing one that means something to me or that it's a momentous occasion like this now for my stemware I have one of those beautiful um, napkins that's that same peacock jewel colored teal and a peacock feather in my water goblet these beautiful stems that are the same color are from pure one from years ago absolutely love them and they work well and they really work with the theme that I'm going for with this over-the-top avant-garde um, whimsical theme that I'm doing now that's a luminar candle in this lantern it's actually the same uh, peacock blue color but you can see it on the edges but that light that's illuminating it gives it an amber look but the actual piece is reading that way on film but it's actually um, actually a peacock blue lantern and you can see my centerpiece uh, these are actually white pumpkins I was gonna paint them but then I said I would just leave it the way it is before the contrast I might still go back and paint them in gold but I just wrapped them in feathers and that's how I made my centerpiece and I love it I do have that filmed I can put up a DIY video of that if you want um, on each side I have my pumpkin patches I think they work really well with the scene and that's the only thing that I purchased I ordered those off of Amazon for like a big bag of them and I absolutely love the way they look and all I did was add in a little bit of greenery and some picks and I think it looks beautiful I really wanted to go with the pumpkin patch theme um, and I just like the way it looks I basically have all of these different shades of blue that would work well with the peacock theme and I think I pulled it off pretty well especially with the runner that has that really pretty deep dark velvet blue that's basically grounding and setting that foundation for everything else to read off of now I know that the centerpiece the actual peacock placemat got sort of lost but it's still peeking through and I just really love the way this all came together now you guys know that I always put a pillow on my settee so of course I pulled out this blue peacock pillow that I got from Pure One years and years ago I know you pro guys probably all that are into decor remember that and I've had it for quite a while and it works really well with my wall art that's a DIY once again and I'll try to leave all of the DIY videos in the description bar below hope I remember to do that 
And yeah, I just love the way this looks and it just matches perfectly. So I hope that you guys like all of the items that I was able to create when I shot my home, except for the pumpkins. So guys, don't forget to go check out all of the other participants on the playlist, which will be in my description bar below, along with all of my co-hosts of the Daughters of Destiny's channels, which will also be in my description bar below along with all of the items and videos for the um the diys that i created that are on my tablescape thank you so much for watching thank you for celebrating our one year anniversary with us we couldn't do this without you i love you guys i appreciate you guys so much and i love you daughters of destiny sisters and all of my friends that have supported us throughout this year on our journey we love you thank you so much and don't forget to give this a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button twice uh, the bell twice rather so you'll be notified whenever i upload when i do put up videos and i'll see you guys in the next video love you guys and thank you all for watching